our weekly special where we give you new ideas, insights, and suggestions to help manage your PPC accounts. Today, we're going to be talking about setting up the Google Merchant account, and more specifically, how to deal with an account or this data feed in these accounts. Um, now, data feeds are especially important when you are interested in doing product listing ads and product extensions, but it is an important part that can get tripped up easily for the account at large. So, without further ado, keep AI right on this list here and take a peek at our ticker because we are going to be solving your problems in less than 60 seconds. And let's get going. All right, so first to run back through, a feed is a file that contains all the information about the products that you are going to be submitting to Google. Now, for each of these products, you give Google little packets of information called attributes. There are two types. There's the um, required attributes, which are pretty straightforward. Um, you know, your product description, your product ID, that sort of thing. When you're doing your required attributes, you need to be very careful though for two things. First, when it asks for the price, that price needs to be the fixed price. There are ways to add in discounts and varying prices through the recommended attributes, but you shouldn't do it here. Um, also, when you ask for the link to it, the product, make sure that link is stable, so it doesn't require a password, um, you know, it's a working link, that sort of thing. For the recommended attributes, they recommend you do as many as possible, and I do that too. Um, however, the two that I would say are most important would be to submit a high quality image and also to do a product identifier. And finally, um, and lastly, you need to make sure you update this feed at least every 30 days. Even if you only make changes to a few products, the entire feed needs to be resubmitted. And that's all we have time for. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Ticker Tuesday, and come back next week when we are going to be talking about PPC keyword match types.